Hey Mayhem family and welcome back to our On Demand class. Before we get started, we wanted to let you know that this warm-up is specifically written with our M30 program in mind. We have created an experience that allows for the warm-up, workout, and cool-down to be completed in 30 minutes or less. If you're an athlete that's looking for a more thorough warm-up, then we recommend hopping over to our M60 program where you can check out our typical warm-up routine there. All right, let's get rolling. Mayhem Athlete family, welcome to today's workouts. Today we've got two versions of the same workout. We've got a body weight, which is going to be air squats and lunges. And then we've got a minimal version with a dumbbell. It's going to be single arm dumbbell thrusters, lunges, and single arm dumbbell thrusters again. But we're going to go over the athletes, break down the workout, some movement demos, and get rocking and rolling. We've got Kelsey doing our body weight version today. If you're following along at home, you can mirror her. She's gonna do 75 air squats. For that air squat, you see she'll get full depth, feet between hip and shoulder width apart, all the way up and down nice and smooth, and then she's doing lunges in place as well. We call these front lunges because she steps forward, that knee's just kissing the ground, coming right back up, and then in the workout, it'll be air squats again after that. Show them one, and she's right back into it. Thank you, Kelsey. We've got Jen over here doing the minimal version. Minimal, we just mean we use this dumbbell, not much equipment. Single arm dumbbell thruster. Trying to get depth there all the way down as much as you can. And relax, and then you're gonna do that dumbbell if you wanna place it on the shoulder, or you can go double hand in the front rack as well. Whatever you prefer there. We're, not, we're gonna let you choose your standard as long as it's on those shoulders in the front rack, and then lunge in place like so. For hers, her rep scheme is going to be very similar, but a little bit less. 50 thrusters, 60 lunges in place, 50 thrusters to finish. So it's just three parts and you're done. Two movements, really simple. Uh, this is going to move quickly, which is nice. If you're at home, you're going to get rocking and you'll get through it uh, in minimal time, which is the idea. We're going to go five minute warm up. On the warm up, what we're going to do is marches in place. We're going to go floor to elbow. We'll show you those. We'll do some each side jumping lunges, and then air squats. We'll start in 10 seconds. We're gonna start with marches in place. Marches in place, so just like they sound, just, just get the lower body moving, get our heart rate up, and just get that blood flow going. If you're really excited, really wanna go, you can run in place as well, obviously. Uh, but for the warm up, we'll let you choose one or the other, depending on if you're slow to get going or if you just uh, love moving fast from the start. For those marches in place, we talk about if we were in a running workout, just think about soft feet, soft landing, kind of that midfoot hitting rather than that heel clomping down on the ground. Kelsey's doing a pretty nice job of that. Jen's really quiet as well. Let's transition. We're gonna go to floor to elbow. Excuse me, elbow to floor. If you bring the floor to the elbow, that'd be really impressive. We'll go three each side. They're pretty mobile. I would struggle with this one some. Then you'll switch. What that is, is opening up, obviously, that hip on the right side, letting it simulate that deep squat position. And then on the left, too, that hip extension. Uh, also may get some core low back stretch. If you can't get all the way there, now just go wrist the ground, which is okay. We're gonna transition to six jumping lunges, six total. We'll go three each side on that. This is get some activation in the glutes, start to move quickly there, that jump. You don't have to jump in the workout, but it's a good, good uh, primer for this as well. Then we're going, she's gonna do six air squats, and then Jen's gonna do three dumbbell thrusters right, and three on the left. If you only have one dumbbell, obviously you're gonna use your workout weight, but if uh, you're using 35s to the ladies in this workout, you have a 20 pound dumbbell, that's a great option to use that in the warm up, uh, and then in the workout you can scale back up. Right when you get done with that last air squat or thruster, we're moving back into our marches. You can march till about the three minute mark, and we'll keep rocking through, going on to the next movement. Cycle back to those elbow, the floor. On this arm pump as well. Even though we just have our body, there's a lot of little things like that that we can do to make it as much total body as possible um, and really optimize our warm up. Back to the elbow all the way down as much as we can. You can get some chest thoracic rotation in there too. Like we are saying, let's just get every little bit we can, uh, every part of this warm up, also the workout as well. Uh, just makes you efficient, makes you feel better in the workout, uh, and really optimizes that warm up. That way, if you need to spend longer in the warm up, you can, but you don't feel like you have to. Uh, at the end of five minutes, you can feel surprisingly pretty warm, 
if you do it as written um, and intended. Kelsey's back those air squats. Jan, you're gonna go back to six dumbbell thrusters. Three, one side, three on the other. Jen's gonna be thinking about in this warm up, like it's gonna translate to the workout. Really driving with her hips out of that hole there at the bottom of the squat to save those shoulders. Shoulders are probably actually gonna feel fresh because it's only one dumbbell, but you still wanna optimize, use those hips as much as you can. We'll move back into these marches. We're gonna finish with three rounds total, so if they finish before the five minute mark, that's okay on this one. We'll march until, we'll say 140. 140. After this, we're back to our elbow to floor. Something you want to think about uh, this five minute workout into warm up into the workout is the warm up's very intentional, like we said. We're trying to choose movements that either are very close, prime the movements in the workout. So we're doing things to open up the hips, to get ready for those lunges and squats. Uh, and then we're literally doing some lunges and air squats in the warm up as well, because it's just a simple, um, effective warm up. And it's easy to warm up for to use that movement in the warm up. Some others' movements, like if you're doing high level gymnastics or barbell, you might have to ease into. But if we're just body weight and dumbbell, we can go right into them sometimes, like so. Go three right, three left. And that'll be it there. From this, uh, if you need to use the bathroom or grab something to get ready for the workout, this would be a good time to do that. But we're ready to rock and roll here. What we are gonna do, uh, we do this a lot, it's called a workout prep, is the word term we use. We'll do a warm up, workout prep, and then the actual workout. So we'll just do it at workout pace is the idea, just to touch that intensity so your heart rate gets closer to it before the workout, that helps it so at the beginning, the first minute to the workout, you're not dragging as much because you've gotten even more warmed up before the workout, that helps. So Kelsey, what I'm gonna have you do right before the workout, let's just go five air squats at game speed into six lunges. Jen, let's have you do two more thrusters each side into four lunges total. So you're going four and four, Kelsey, you'll go five and six, and go. Whatever your game pace is going to be, you're going to hit this right here at that game pace. It's okay, after this, you can take a minute or two, two to let your heart rate come back down so you're not going from that straight into the workout. But that's the idea there. There you go, Jen. She's already finding a good spot for that dumbbell, that four and four. Good. That's all I like it. Sometimes that's a good to know too, is that in that workout prep, it lets you know if you went at 110%, you can dial it back in the workout so it helps you find that game pace a little quicker um, and build into it in the workout if you come out too hot in the workout prep. And then sometimes if you use that same pace to start and you feel good, then you get to go faster throughout that workout there. Good deal. Any questions before we get going? Nope. You have to, and you have to too. There's no option if you're watching, this is it. So, just to recap, real quick, 75, 75, 75 for Kelsey. Easy to remember, it's gonna be 225 reps, and Jen's got 50, 60, 50. Easy to remember as well, you're 160. All right, we're starting with air squats and single arm dumbbell thrusters. I did forget to mention on the single arm dumbbell thruster, we are gonna require Jen to do all 25 on one side, then all 25 on the other. She can start with right or left, she just must switch at the 26th rep on the front end and back end. Got it, Jen? Got it. Good. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, we got five, three, two, one, go. You go, Jen, nice and smooth. These type of workouts are a little different. It's that chipper style uh, because we got a big chunk in the middle, so have a good strategy how to start with. Kelsey's just moving quickly through these air squats, basically right at that pace she's starting a workout prep, which is good. Kelsey's got chest up. She's trying to make each rep look the same, which is exactly what we want. Try to make these look the same. Uh, you're blurring the line between intensity uh, and going a little too fast which is what we want in this workout. We wanna go just as fast as we can while keeping good form like she's doing there. 
quick shake out. Sometimes the workout like this, surprisingly, your ankles and feet can get kind of tight. Uh, it's because they're flexing and extending so much. Kelsey's also got those arms coming forward, which is fine too. If you find your depth is lacking or you struggle getting down there, reach those arms up nice and high. It'll help keep you upright and then also get you all the way down just like Kelsey's showing. Jen's already switched arms. Good, Jen. She's doing a good job as well as trying to stay as vertical as she can. Your chest is gonna dip forward a little bit to counterbalance as your hips go back, but you want to stay as upright as possible. She's gonna do a little breath at the top every now and then in that locked out position. Jen has strong shoulders, so she can do that. I know Jen's gonna try and stay really mentally tough like we want you to. Try to not drop that dumbbell. This is one of those workouts where if you choose the appropriate weight, it's gonna be hard, but you don't ever have to drop it, at least within the movement. So, she's going straight into her lunges, she's killing it. That would be a good time if you need to drop it, shake it out, that's okay. But she's gonna put it right on that shoulder, so she's gonna let her shoulders shake out, and then she's just switching legs. That is the one nice thing about that lunge, is that her legs switch every time. So the other leg is gonna recover a little bit, that's not quite as loaded. Same thing for Kelsey here. She's just gonna keep that quick pace throughout the whole way. It's gonna be a fast workout, which is what we want. I think if you're running half a mile to a mile as fast as you can, you're gonna run fast the whole way, just like this workout. You're gonna stay fast. A quick, quick shake out there, that's fine. She's working through a 60 over here. Jen is, where you at, Jen? 33, over, already over halfway. And they're almost done. A little audio malfunction, but that's all right. Still learning, and they're still moving quickly. Jen is through the lunges. Jen is loving the dumbbell. She's not gonna stop. I think she took a little break, but she's right back at it. On that last set of 50 dumbbell thrusters, Kelsey is barely stopped moving too. 75, 75, this last 75. Where are you at, Kelsey? 10, 65 more, don't stop, don't stop. That's the tough thing about these workouts, it's designed that way, it's all lower body. So those legs are gonna fill up, you say it fills up, this one might be a lactic acid party just cause you're trying to clear those legs but you're going back to doing work with them so uh, it gets tough. You just got a quick breaks, back at it. This is the last third, that part is where it's gonna definitely be the hardest uh, but in your mind, however you wanna count, if you think about five sets of 15 for Kelsey or Jen, just five sets of 10, you're just counting that 10, that's a lot better sometimes than counting all the way to 30. Um, that can help too. You just have to stay in CrossFit, movement like this, workout like this, mentally tough, keep pushing through. Same thing though, try to keep that last set similar to that first set um, with your air squat, still getting depth, not letting those knees crash in. If you drop forward a little bit with your chest, that's okay. Those knees can come forward. Jen's taking a little bit wider stance so she can get her depth. 
We're just over, almost to six minutes, so it's still moving quickly, gonna be a fast workout. There you go, Jen, nice. You're doing a good job as well. Think about your breath in this workout. You're breathing in on the way down, as you hit that bottom of the dumbbell thruster, breathe out. That'll help your bracing and keep a good rhythm with that movement. Jen's a quick shake back out. She braces where she picks it up. And then back right into that same rhythm. Breathe out on the way up, and then in on the way down as much as you can. Don't lose count. Where are we at, Kelsey? There we go, 15 more. Don't stop there, all the way through. Six more, Jen's shoulders are starting to feel it. Come on, Jen, six more, right at it. Four, all the way down, all the way down. Three, two, one. Wow, <laughs> they were racing, of course, the whole way. I didn't know they were that close. <laughs> Kelsey chose the body weight to make it easier, and I think it might have been harder because she tried to move faster. Good job, good job. That was great. <laughs> so just under seven minutes, we're doing this at home, that's a good time. Uh, if you take longer, that's okay. It may take you closer to eight or nine, a little more minutes, uh, but just keep it intense for you. Obviously in a workout like this, you can pull back the weight on the dumbbell. You gotta drop it five, six, seven times. Let's bring it back a little more. Uh, then body weight wise, if it takes you the longest, okay. Or you can even go just 50 reps of everything and still have a great workout with that. This is a good example though, is that you go faster when you go with someone else. Some really good, healthy competition um, and it kept that workout intense. And definitely more fun than if you went alone. So on this workout, if y'all wanna stand up, shake out, well, shake out your legs, definitely. Uh, this, one be, this would be a good one or if you do wanna go take a walk, if you have a bike at home or any type of machine, it's a really good one to cool down with that. If you don't, that's okay too. Literally just walking is a great cool down for any workout. Bring that heart rate down, let those legs shake out there uh, like the ladies are doing here. After you do a cool down like that, bring your heart rate down, get your legs feeling better. Let's stretch it out, we'll do a couple stretches like we typically do. We're gonna start with pigeon. Pigeon on the right side. Ladies wanna go ahead and go down, show us that. One leg's back, the other one like so. Knee, shin, foot all the way on the ground if you can get it there. If you need to close your foot, bring it a little bit back closer to your chest, you can do that. Um, if you're not quite as flexible, I would need to do that. Or you can stay here. Pigeon is one where you can kind of move around in the movement and see where that tight area is. And once you find that tight area, you can hang out there a little more. You can do that by moving your hip back and forth or changing even your chest angle, shifting side to side. Are we showing that, Jen? Maybe you want to angle that way. Yeah, that might find that there, a little more rotation, really wherever it is for you. That's okay to explore that while you're down there. Let's go ahead, switch legs. <laughs> I'm the same, one side usually tighter, one than the other. Almost any stretch. Kelsey's just really mobile. Yeah. We do always, even if you're rushed for time in Mayhem 30, build in the cool down within that 30 minutes are really close. Uh, that way we're just not going from heart rate 170 and running a gun and right to our car to drive away. It is important to cool down, especially if you're working out every day to make the next day feel better, keep your joints healthier, uh, muscles in better condition, and let you work out really longer, longer term from months to years to decades. The little things like this pay off I get lazy all the time and don't stretch and then something will get tweaked and I have to stretch more. Lots of us do. So even if it's just two stretches for a minute or two each side, two minutes is great. Um, that goes a long, long way. Just commit to doing one or two. One a day will do a lot. Go about 10 more seconds. Then we'll go to couch stretch. For couch stretch, I'll bring in a box. Couch stretch, you can share a box sometimes. Yep. Kelsey can go here, Jen can go here. If you have another object and you put your hand on it, support your chest. They're pretty mobile though. Kelsey here, knees almost to the box. 
Make sure you keep a tight core there so you're not overextending with your low back. We don't want that. We want to stay here, that rib cage down. That way you'll focus on this part of your hip. This is where you really want you to stretch. And Jen, still there in a good position. Squeeze there just a little. And then from that, her knee is further out, which is okay. If you're not quite as mobile, knee can go further out. Just try to over time get closer and closer to the back of that box. We'll go about 20 more seconds. Kelsey, anything you want to tell our friends and family? You're going to want to stop. <laughs> uh, honestly, the lunges, like, they got me towards the end. Um, and then, of course, that second set of 75 is just a mental Let's switch. Battle. Um, the battle of 75. Yes. Uh, I broke a lot more than I intended to just because my quads were on fire. So if that's something that you start feeling in the moment, just think quick, small sets. Whatever you gotta do, like stop. Don't rest long. So in my case, I was doing like like 10 to 15, like shake it out, 10 to 15. So. You did really good at that, yeah. You would, you had to break, you got a break, but it was like, I'm gonna get this many, then I'm gonna break, and break like five seconds and back to it. And as you saw at the end, I can go faster, but I wasn't a speed I could hold the whole time. So. That's the time to do that speed. Your speed that's unsustainable, the very end, and then you're done. And then you don't have to sustain anymore. So that was good. Good job, Kelsey. Um, Jen? Uh, similar to what Kelsey said, you are going to want to stop. What I did that I think helped was not breaking between the thrusters and the lunges. You already have the dumbbell up. You don't have to pick it up again. You can just rest it on your shoulder. Get right into it. I knew if I just did one, I'd probably do 10. And then if I needed to break at 10 to finally take a break or shake it out, then I could. But what you find is, or what I found, is when I was doing that, it's a different movement. It's a slightly different stimulus. So um, I was able to do more than 10 and I hadn't stopped. So that helped me farther in the workout when I did finally actually need to rest. I like it. So. You just dropped that dumbbell and kept just moving. Keep going. Just keep just going. Keep this one's the workout. You just keep going. Dumbbell's not going anywhere. The work's got to be done. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you had a great workout. We'll see you guys soon. Be awesome. Be great. Great work today. We are so glad that you were able to join us for another challenging and fun workout. If you are already a Mayhem athlete, be sure to log your score in Sugarwad, fist bump a fellow athlete along the way, and leave a comment. If you enjoyed today's workout and are looking to become a part of the Mayhem family, we would love to have you as an everyday athlete doing these types of workouts every day. If you're looking for a more in-person experience, then you can check out the Mayhem affiliate map to see if there's a Mayhem affiliate close to you. Um, just head over to our website, check out the maps, and we look forward to seeing you for the next on-demand class.